The old Hagelin came from Sweden, which was very far from Eden. By the time he left, most of his family died. His sisters and his mother, his father and his brothers, so it's one remaining sibling at his side. He got a notion to sail across the ocean where he heard the streets were paved with gold. Not long after his arrival, as he toiled for survival, he realized the bill of goods that he'd been sold. He got a whole lot wiser, became an organizer, and he organized with artistry and skill. He spoke up, raised his fist, got right on the blacklist. That's why he changed his name to Joe Hill. He heard that it was best if he headed to the west, where the industrial workers of the world were finding the solution for making revolution with red songbook and red flag unfurled. A hundred years ago, the bard with the union card proved his music was too powerful, too strong. They couldn't stand the sound. They had to take him down, lest he organize the working class in song. Soon as he paid his dues, he tried hard to light the fuse, speaking, singing, writing lyrics and cartoons. He sent off the whole mess to the wobbly press, and they sang his songs as they fought the goons. He joined a singing movement that fought for improvement by abolishing wage slavery worldwide. He sang the wobbly line, beseeching workers to come by, learn from Mr. Block, the boss's lied. A hundred years ago, the bard with the union card proved his music was too powerful, too strong. They couldn't stand the sound, they had to take him down, lest he organized the working class in song. His life would be cut short by a kangaroo court, eager to determine one man's fate. Evidence was circumstantial, but that's inconsequential when you've become an enemy of the state. They put him up against the wall. That was all. They gunned him down in 1915. He took all the bullets he could take there by the Salt Lake for being the best bard they'd ever seen. A hundred years ago, the bard with the union card proved his music was too powerful, too strong. They couldn't stand the sound. They had to take him down, lest he organize the working class in song. A hundred years ago, the bard with the union card proved his music was too powerful, too strong. They couldn't stand the sound. They had to take him down. Lest he organize the working class in song. Lest he organize the working class in song.